Welcome back. The first thing that needs to happen to get a group project working together on Plastic SCM is whoever is setting up the project needs to create the project and sync it with their personal SEM account. Uh, I'll link the video in the top right going over how to do this. In my case, I just made a 2D project. I put some stuff in the scene. I signed in using my Unity ID and pushed those things up. The next step is you need to give whoever's working with you access to that project. So I'm going to do that right now. What you might have to do is sign in to your Unity account first in the browser and then click sign in with Unity ID if you're doing it through Unity. Then you're going to go to cloud and you will see all your different projects. Some parts of this are going to be blurred out because it's got personal information in it. The important thing is the project name here. So this project is part of this one this plastic SCM video project. This is the project I'm after. So what you're gonna wanna do here is you're gonna go to configure users and groups, and then you're gonna add a new user. And you're gonna add in the email address of whoever it is you wanna add to your project. After you do that, they will have access to the project. Then we would need to go to download. This is what your team members will have to do on their computers. They'll go to download and they will download the cloud edition of Plastic SCM. Once you open that up, you're gonna be greeted with something like this. It might want ask you to sign in first, go ahead and do that. We're gonna to want to go over to this section over here that says repositories and workspaces. We're gonna select repositories, and we're gonna select from this drop down the one associated with your project. So for me, it's this one. And then you're gonna right click on your project and click create workspace for this repository. This is where you specify where you want it to be. So I'm gonna just leave it in the default documents folder. I'm gonna hit okay. And then I'm going to hit update workspace. And I'm gonna hit okay. This is gonna download all the files associated with that project. Then all I have to do is go in my file explorer to that location. So I'm gonna go to documents. I'm gonna go down to plastic SCM video project. And this is my Unity project. So I can just open up Unity Hub and add it, or I can open up my assets folder, my scenes folder and double click on it. Once your project opens, you will see that there are no pending changes. If you go to your change sets, you should see all of the options. So currently I see nothing. That's because I'm in a new scene called Untitled. I want to open up our sample scene and I can see all the things I did in that project. In order to upload stuff, let's say I make a change. So I'm just going to add another sprite. I'll add a square this time and let's move it over here and make it like a green color. Then I'll go to Plastic SCM, go to Pending Changes. I first have to save and then I can list what I've done. So added square, check in my changes. I'll go through the process and I'll be able to see my change sets that this user added a square. You can see that different users did different things. So we do in fact have two communicators working on this project. I hope you found this useful. It's a pretty straightforward system to use. Comment below if you have any questions and I will see you in the next one.